Hello everyone, Wordfire here, and we have a new game, and this is actually a match 3 game, but it's super cool. It's called Heroes of Kalevala, and this game is based on Finnish uh, folklore. Um, the name Kalevala is... or um, Kale the Kalevala is... Um, how should I put this? Okay. I have the Wikipedia up so we can read about it and learn stuff, but basically it's a work of literature where um, a dude named Emil Lundrot, I think, he um, put together, he wrote down uh, old Karelian and Finnish um, oral traditions and folklore. So and that is a very important part piece of literature for Finland and for the Finnish nationality or whatever, apparently, from the Wikipedia. It's super important for Finland and it's inspired lots of art and stuff and uh, who am I? Oh, I want to be Wordfire. Thank you. And, um, daily life and stuff. And there's, um, like, uh, you know, place names. And, uh, there is a, a little town in Michigan in the US, which is apparently, you know, sort of Finnish community from the beginning, which is called Kalevall, I think, from Wikipedia. Anyways. So, uh, we're gonna read and learn lots of stuff. This is super, super cool, and it's super fun. So, we're gonna talk about it. Talk a lot. Your journey started when the great drought came. You were forced to leave, but where would you go? The elders consulted the shaman and he tried to find guidance with the help of magic. The bones were to give the answer. No one but the shaman understood the bones. However, the bones spoke clearly to him. You must leave this barren land and start over somewhere else. The elders convened, and they decided your tribe is to travel across the ocean. Behind the menacing waters, you would find the land of Golivala. Now, Kalevala is thought to have been a part, there's some part of Finland. So this could mean that they are traveling, basically, to Finland. Across the water, from wherever. This is Wayne Amoining. He'll be your guide during your first steps in Golivala. Well, oh, level one, just like that. Okay, so Veinamonen is a character, definitely from Kalevala, and the word Kalevala could mean the land of Kalevala. So, like, it is a place, and, and stuff happens, so. Oh, we are learning match three. We have to match over yellow tiles so they turn blue, and when we turn all tiles blue, we complete the level. So I am going to... We are going to read about Veinamonen. Uh... Oh, uh, this... Oh, yeah, so this bomb... Um... Explodes. If you match four or more pieces at the same time, bombs will appear. Drag or double-click a bomb to... <gasps> you can double-click it?! Oh my god, I didn't know that! And I've almost beaten the game and I still didn't know that. Wow, I should pay attention. Okay. But I think Veinamainen seems to be one... He seems to be in the very earliest parts of Kalevala, actually, from what I saw on Wikipedia, so that's pretty cool. Um, what am I doing? Not very smart things. Uh, I just want the yellow ones to disappear. Come on. Bam. I love the I love the music here. I hope the music is like, you know, Finnish inspired because this is so. Oh my god, that was loud. Okay, so yeah, the all the different sound effects are a bit differently uh, volumed. Uh, sadly, there's no um, there is no separate voice volume control, and this game is kind of old, so maybe that's why. But anyways, so we got some bonus for tiles, and we got you saw we had these gems on the outside, and we have no village, which we are gonna build here in the background. But we don't have it yet, so we don't get bonus for that. 
Your journey was full of perils, and the small ships carrying your tribe were almost sunk by the mountain-sized waves. After several weeks of sailing, the storms calmed, and you laid your eyes upon a new land. You had arrived at the lands of Golevola. Your small group of settlers found a suitable spot, and you settled down. The work was hard, but there was plenty of food and water. Your village grew after each month. Welcome to the Foundations of Your First Village! Your mission here is to build a thriving community, which will in turn aid you on your journey forward, says Veinamainen. More things... move things around by dragging and buy housing from the shop to attract settlers. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a shop. Buy items by dragging them vertically. Whee! Let's build a little hobbit house. And these people, they love trees. They... trees make them happy. So let's give him an extra birch. Look at him. Look at him when he goes to the tree. Look at him. He is so happy. He just loves the tree. It is crazy. Okay, so I want to read a bit from the Wikipedia here. It's probably going to pause. No, maybe. I don't I don't even know. Did it pause? Maybe it just went quiet. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see if I can... I want to read. Okay. Um, so the Kalevala... Uh, literature or whatever it's um, um, it's in verses and songs the 50 songs in Finnish is runot uh, and my Finnish pronunciation is not good um, and the title can yeah the title can be interpreted as the land of Kal Kaleva or Kalevia and Karelia and Finland are Karelia is a geographical part I'm not exactly sure where it is but yeah let's see here now I wanted to read about Veinamoinen, who is a character here. Veinamoinen is the central character of the Kalevala, a shamanistic hero with the magical power of song and music, similar to that of Orpheus. He is born of Ilmatar and contributes to the creation of Earth as it is today. Many of his travels resemble shamanistic journeys, most notably one where he visits the belly of a ground giant, Anterovipunen to find the songs of boat building. So, songs were like spells. Um, and you used, you know, songs and maybe chants you call them, but basically songs. And it would kind of work as spells, I think. Maybe that Norse culture has also used the word songs as meaning magic and spells. I'm pretty sure about that. So like, don't sing too much because it's magic. Um, Veinamoinen created and plays the kantele, a Finnish stringed instrument that resembles and is played like a zither. And that's what you saw in the before in the logo. I don't know what a zither is, but okay. Veinamoinen's search for a wife is a central element in many stories, although he never finds one. One of his potential brides, Jukka Hainen's sister Aino, drowns herself, drowns herself instead of marrying him. He is the leading member of the group who steals the Sampo from the people of Poyola. Alright, so the Sampo, we're gonna talk about later, but Sampo is a very has a very central role, and it's this magical thing that people aren't really sure about what, what it actually is or was, um, but which everyone wants. And basically, from what I understand it, most of the stories in the Kalevala, most of the adventures and the seduction and like everything that happens. Uh, is centered somehow around the sampo because everyone wants the sampo or it's something in relation to sampo because that's what everyone wants um, so yeah so there we have Veinamainen Veinamainen again I don't think my finish is very good um, I will also say that they have shamans or head shamans in, in Finland um, Nor like Sweden, Norway Nor n old Norse culture which is you know separate from Finland and Sami people did not have you know what they called shamans we had magic wielders or magic users who did say save but um, not they could probably be seen as shamans but they're not called shamans and they're not seen as 
shamans. You could, you could, um, we'll play, we'll we do this. You could argue that Odin is a shaman, but, you know. Destroy icy tiles by matching pieces next to them. Try it now. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of talk because I really want to, to, you know, savor this, this amazing Finnish folklore. It's so cool. And, you know, it deserves definitely and I, I don't I don't know much about it either like the only time I've actually heard anything about it was when I was taking a summer course in um, Old Norse religion I think they call it um, in Swedish but anyways and they talked about it like the Norse culture in relation to that they um, people have theories about uh, connections between that and Sami people folklore and Finnish folklore. For example, Sampo and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically all I know. Um, whoops, move it. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Okay, this is cool. So when you have five or more, you get this big bomb and it's it explodes this big area around you. It's super cool. I'm gonna, I wanna do it. Oh, we got another one. What? I wanna do it farther down. Apparently I'm not a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Boom. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, we just have this one left. I don't think this can take it. Nope. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Whee! We got all the crystals. The rubies or whatever. And now we have a village bonus, and we have one villager, and he is happy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna fill this meter when we make... <gasps> we got a pine tree! It's a tree of especially tall stature. Oh, 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 we almost got this... this face here. Okay, so now we can buy... a pine tree! I wanna buy another basic hut. Come on. It's a woman in there. I want to buy one of these trees. Here. Be happy with the tree. Oh, are they going to talk? Yes. High five. Is the weather good? It's okay. Ooh. You want to hold hands? Okay. I don't even know. But it looks like they said something like that. At first, it seemed that life would be very peaceful. But you came to realize that you weren't alone. An evil witch called Lauhi has noticed your tribe. Her evil crow is constantly bugging your fair villagers. If you can finish the levels before the crow burns the border, you'll be victorious. So this is the way that they give you that they time it. Oh no, the evil witch Luhi, which I'm gonna try to find and read about, has sent her minion to oppose us. You must complete the level before the border is engulfed in flames. This is actually pretty cool. So now we have the borders being timed. It's very, um, it's very slow though, here in the beginning. At level 100, it is not that slow. I can tell you that. But yeah, we're not there yet, so that's cool. Uh, here we go. Uh, okay. So, but if we, if we, um match something at the edge where the crow is, it actually stops. Which is very convenient sometimes. I can tell you that. I think I once managed to do this without the crow taking anything, but apparently I'm not doing that right now, so yeah. Let's see here. I'm just so excited! For all the finish folk! There you go. See what we get. We have two villagers. Woohoo! 
Yeah, they're happy. Okay, what happens now? Ilmarinen. When Ilmarinen is called, the will he will throw a fiery hammer that incinerates tiles on the board. We have a hero unlocked. Okay, so I want to read about Ilmarinen. He's right here. Seppo Ilmarinen is a heroic artificer, comparable to the Germanic Wayland and the Greek Daedalus. He crafted the Dome of the Sky, the Sampo. He made the Sampo. Okay, this is pretty awesome. And various other magical devices featured in the Kalevala. Ilmarinen is the second member of the group who, who steal the Sampo. But he made the Sampo. Okay, apparently I, you know, obviously have to read this. Ilmarinen, like Veinemöinen, also has many stories told of his search for a wife, reaching the point where he forges one of gold. What? Yeah, that's pretty cool. But I want to read about Louhi. Where is... Oh, here he is. Okay, Louhi. I found it. Oh, I found it. I found her. I found her. Okay, Louhi. Louhi, the mistress of the north, is a shamanistic matriarch of the people of Poyola, a people rivaling those of Kalevala. She is the cause of much trouble for Kalevala and its people. Louis at one point saves Veinemöinen's life. She has many daughters, whom the heroes of Kalevala make many attempts, some successful, at seducing. Oh, they don't like the weather. Louis plays a major part in the battle to prevent the heroes of Kalevala from stealing back the Sampo. Okay. Which, as a result, is ultimately destroyed. I had no idea that the Sampo is destroyed. What? She's a powerful witch with a skill almost on par with that of Veinemainens. Oh my god, I had no idea that the sample was destroyed. What? What? Okay, we need more villagers. But this is so cool, I had no idea about all this. I kind of need to get this book and read it, though not in Finnish, because I'm not going to understand Finnish. Okay, let's see if this dude... If you have too many people and too few trees, they will be sad. Apparently we have three dudes and one. High five, high five. Hold hands, okay. Ooh, they're gonna go hold hands. I don't even know, but yeah. So there you have it. Just met Il Marinen. He's a powerful hero. Use his powers wisely, and you're more likely to be victorious against the evil. I'm sorry the voice is so low, but otherwise other stuffs will be super loud, so. Activate the hero by matching the special hero port pieces with a portrait on them. Let's do it. Boom! That's what he does with his hammer. Wee. I like the music. I might get too focused on the music at some point to be like, whoopsie. Oh, that was actually not. Okay, so I'm not always doing the best. I, you know, the best. Uh, what's it called in English? The best moves. You can say that right away. Ah, when you match tiles near the crow, it gets stunned. Have at you. Oh, oh, oh. Or if you explode bombs, that reaches it. You can hear a little crow sound when you um, get it, so to speak. Takes our four crystals. <laughs> and there are more than more heroes to come, which is super cool. Man, that that wind sound is so loud. It's crazy.
Ooh, we almost got to this whatever sort of leaf thing. You want more people? Yeah, we want more people because more people gives us more money. Okay. Look at the villa. Looks like villagers can get unhappy. Buying trees for them should make them happier. Yeah, there are too few trees here. Whoops. I don't know what he said there. Sorry. Now he's happy because he's like, I have my own tree. It's pretty funny how they love trees. Sort of. I know time is up, but we're gonna play a bit more anyways. Locked pieces can't be moved before they are unlocked by matching. Try it now. Ooh, two mega bombs. I wanna use those. Ooh, I wanna- okay, I wanna wait till the crow comes and use that on it. That's gonna be so cool. Oh, I actually used the bomb with the bomb. No! Oh yes, it actually exploded. Yes! I was like, no, I'm just gonna stop the crow, come on. No, no, I was gonna get it. Oh, here we go. Yes, stop the crow, stop the crow. Oh, I could have used Ilmarinen. Suppo in Marinan? Wait, what was his full name? Holy moly. Suppo Sappo in Marinan, I think his name was. Wait. Seppo in Marinan. Seppo in Marinan. We got an eccentric hut. A nice hut for two people. Lots of parties are held here. Some think it's a bit odd looking. What? Oh, look at this, a new hero! What? Okay. But it's 250, and we have building limit reached, so we have to sell one of our small buildings to get the big one. Come on. I don't want you. I want you. We might need another tree. Yeah. Here, have another tree. I like how they get, like, happy before you even put the tree down. They're like, oh, there's a flying tree, I see it. Okay, I just want the new hero. These are medals. You can earn them by earning coins in the village. The more coins you earn, the faster you gain the medals. To unlock the next village, you need to gain at least the bronze medal in the current village. We're gonna get all the gold, though. Okay, let's do it. I just like playing this game. Both because it's super cool with the finished folklore and because it's, it's just the gameplay is actually lots of fun. No, I did the right- Ooh, four of them. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Whee! Yeah. Uh, no, I should not have done that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm not always doing the best moves. <sighs> Obviously. <coughs> there we go, but I like how the heroes take yellow tiles. You can also use bombs to get these tiles out of the way, or the or unlock, or use the heroes. But yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, apparently I got in body then too. That's pretty cool. Stop. Stop. Yeah. It didn't take too many of our crystals. We didn't get the hero! Okay, we'll have to do that next time. 
Uh, so we are in the village of Untamola, and I'll go see if that's... I'm gonna presume that's a part of the Kalevala. But uh, I'll have to check that until next time. So, this is the match 3 game Heroes of Kalevala, full of traditional Finnish and Karelian folklore. Super cool, a lot of fun to play, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thank you very much for watching.